Isn't that pretty? Just showing you ladies and guys at home that you can do edge-to-edge -edge quilting with your machines. As you can see, this right here is a paper like flare. This is one of their built-in embroidery designs that will allow you to do edge-to-edge. -edge. So, here's a teaser. You know Thursdays is our <coughs> sewing tip day. So, on Thursday, I'm going to show you how to take this edge-to-edge -edge design and hoop and re-hoop so that you can do endless embroidery with quality on your embroidery machine. So take a look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is very, very pretty. So come back th Thursday to see how you can take this embroidery design and re-hoop and have a continuous stitching. And what you do is you do endless embroidery, continuous embroidery in the hoop for quilting, edge to edge. And that will be this Thursday at 1. Now, we're going to do an overview real quickly over here because we had several people over the weekend ask about this machine. And this right here is the Baby Lock Allegro. I wanted to kind of give you an overview of this product so that if you are interested in grabbing one of these, we are able to get them. We do have one to show just so that you can see how unique it is. Now, what's nice about this machine is that it is from the inside to your needle 12 inches. So you have a perfect... 12 inch mark right there this is how much space you have between here and here which is very 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 cool because it is like i said it's on sale for 12.99 normally to get that kind of a um, distance between the needle and the base is going to be a lot more expensive now you can take this same machine just like a juki frame up there and the grace uh, frame um cutie you can take this and put it in one of those um well, free motion stand on um, frames, and then this could be your free motion machine. But when you turn the machine on, guys, it is very, like I said, very cool, very large. It's very wide so that you can do a lot of your quilting needs with it. Turn it on, it automatically is going to go to a straight stitch. So I'm going to slide this closer to you guys so that you can see how easy it is to read the screen. And I'm going to just give you a quick little overview just so that you, if you have questions, you, you can throw them out here. We're doing it live now so that you can, you know, you can chat with me right at this moment. If you um, 
chat later. You can put some put your question in there. You can also call us too and talk to me, Avery, at seven five seven five eight eight thirteen hundred. But if you're at home and maybe it's after the live is done and you had a question, just throw it in the chat there, and I will answer you when I get back tomorrow. Um, but no, what what happens when you turn it on, like every machine, it automatically goes to a straight stitch. So right here, you're going to have zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one is simply your straight stitch center needle position. It's telling me that I have my foot control plugged in. This right here is simply my um, 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 stitch length. This is my stitch width. And this is my needle down. To override your width control, um, making it bigger or smaller or needle positioning, this is where you have this control button here. Then you have a minus and plus button here. This is your stitch length control. This right here allows you to jump through your stitches. This automatically puts your machine so you have a needle down position. This right here is returning. This gives you alphabets and this gives you scissors. Um, excuse me. This right here, I, 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 this keyboard, I can't, I'm, I'm, on, I'm going to find out that I'm not sure that's alphabet. Excuse me, my bad. This is your alphabets right here. This is mirror image. This is twin needle. This allows you to have a safety function in your machine. So when you hit this button, you won't, if you have a twin needle in, you can um, not, you won't break your needle. This right here is a new function too. That's really nice. This right here is your lock stitch. This locks your stitch in place. This is simply your practical sewing stitches. Hey, Karen, this is your decorative. This is some other decorative. And then this is your one step going straight to your buttonholes. This is quick references to get the most used functions out of your stitches that are built in. So your keyboard is very, very simple, as you can see. Now, when I take and, and lift up my, my hood, this is where you have your groups and menus of stitches. And as, you was, as I was saying to you earlier, these stitches are listed as 001 through 200. You also have writing capability as well. But what it is, is that this is going to give you your different groups and stitches. So to... to Take and get other stitches in your machine. Thank you. You're simply going to go right here to the arrows on the keyboard. So what I'm going to do, if I just want to go single digits, that gives me single digits. This here, this is gives it would give me the capability of just jumping back and forth through my stitches one at a time if I want to. This right here does it as a 10 jump. So if I'm running through the 200 stitches, well, we can go and do 200 stitches, okay? Um, hit the little button, or I can just jump quickly through by tens and then individually find the stitch I want. So that's how it, it is, that's how easy it is to get your keyboard, all right? Now, like I said, you have tons of stitches on the machine so that you have the capability of doing any kind of quilting that you need. The threading process is simple. One, two, three, up to four, five, down to your needle threader, okay? Now, like I said, guys, it's really cool that it has 12-inch throat space but what is also really unique is that it does come with a few accessories the way you take the accessory tray off my bad i'm trying to do this while i'm holding okay simply i want to cut my thread this tray comes out and this is a nice big accessory tray Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So you have a compartment back in the back to put accessories in. You have a compartment in the front. This is where all your accessories will go. 
Now these are the ones that will come with the machine. And in this accessory box, guys, you are going to get a single hole straight stitch plate. This is something that people like to use when they're doing free motion. They also like to use this too when they're also doing um, um, uh, just piecing because you have a single hole instead of having a big oval there. So when you're doing your boutiques and your more delicate fabrics and maybe you want more precise straight stitching, you will get a straight stitch plate. It automatically comes with the purchase of this fabulous machine. You'll get several buttonholes with it. You will also get a nice button um, blind stitch foot, which people use this for um, hemming as well as edging. You would get your open toe foot, which is open toe and cleared around so that you can see through the foot. You would get your free motion foot, ladies, so that when you want a free motion with this machine, you would, that foot comes with. You will get your zipper foot or cording foot. You also get a sew on button foot. You will also get an overcast foot. As you can see, lots of feet come with. You'll get several bobbins. You will also get your straight, straight stitch foot. And for those of us who want to do piecing, this is our piecing foot. So the patchwork foot comes with the machine as well. All right? So you get that. Plus, you would get the quilt bar, and the quilt bar allows us to do channel quilting. It goes in the back of the foot back here so that you can have this as your seam allowance or channel quilting, or maybe if you were doing a 5 8 seam, maybe you were doing a quarter inch seam, you know, instead of putting a magnet on your um, seam gauge on your machine, you would just use this quilt bar. So it just simply sits there and it just holds it in place. So that's pretty cool. You also get your one-stop buttonhole where you put the f actual button in the foot and the machine measures the buttonhole for you. So lots of feet. This throat plate right here is amazing for this to come with the machine. That's pretty cool. Um, so you get that. One of the feet that you will want to use if you are a quilter or doing a lot of um, matching plaids is you will want to purchase a walking foot. And it does not come with the machine, but you can get it. All right. Now, let's just show you how to thread the machine. When threading your, your sewing machine, it is going to be very simple and easy. First thing is to drop in bobbin. Most of us know how, know how to drop the bobbin in and let it go. That It does have a little cutter on the side here so that you don't have to do any um, bringing the thread up. But you're going to take your bobbin thread, place it. Thread, take your top thread, place it into your guide. You're going to go under this little mechanism here. Go down, up, and thread the very last little thread guide right here. Put your presser foot down. Bring this little lever down, go towards your needle with your thread, and it will grab and put a loop in it, the back of the foot of the needle. You grab that and you'll just simply pull the thread through, put the foot under, and it won't sew with the foot up, guys, by the way. So I'm just going to go to straight stitch. So I'm back at my, my straight stitch needle position right here. I don't want to see any of this because all that I want to do now is just do my simple piece and then straight stitching. Put my presser foot down, okay, and start sewing. Now remember ladies, I was telling you that your straight stitch is right here, 001. My needle position is down so that when I stop, my needle will be in the down position, okay? Also, too, we do have needle up here, and we also have needle down here, okay? We also have a lock function here. 
a lock function takes your machine and takes it into a stopping point and it lock, allows you to lock your stitch in place. You have your traditional reverse button. You can also sew with the foot control plugged in or without the foot control plugged in. You also have a pair of scissors. So it cuts your thread, all right? You also have speed control. So when I sew with this machine, I can start stitching really, really slow. Oh, didn't have enough thread there, so sorry. Get my needle out. I'm gonna, put my foot up. I'm gonna grab my thread. I'm good to see you thread the needle again, so sorry. Okay, here we go. See, very slow. You can find that sweet spot of yours, whatever spot you like. But also, too, ladies, what's nice is that if I just want to sew slow, the pe the pressure of my foot, it's very, very, you know, it it's very sensitive to my foot. So I don't get that jolt of fast or jolt of being too slow or it hesitate. When I mash my pedal, it sews. When I mash it down, it sews. When I stop, it stops down. It beeps to let me know my foot is up. So I can't sew with the foot in the upright position. So it won't it won't sew. It's nice. It keeps you from jamming your machine. Put my pressure foot down. So and now let's go ahead and I'm just going to go to stitch number six because up on the top part here, I can look at my menu of stitches and simply just go and scroll over to stitch six, which would be my zigzag. And there's my zigzag there. It's defaulted at a 5.5. I can always change it when I want. And I can also make my stitch length what I want when I when I want it while I'm sewing so I can make a lot of adjustments on a whim and I can go up to a seven millimeter zigzag so I have a very wide zigzag ladies and guys and this again is a great product it's on sale it's very simple. You can come in, take a look at it. When you want to do your um, fonts, you would take your, uh, that's a quick reference book with the machine. So it will give you another menu of, of um, numbered letters so that if you were doing A, you know, it will be a uh, letter uh, uh, zero, zero, 001 or could be something else, you know, or 301. Um, but it's going to give you the actual number that corresponds to the letter so that you can write your name and do a, a quote label or whatever you might want to do. We can jump again. Let's jump to another group of stitching. I'm, gonna, we don't, I'm just going to jump to um, by tens just so I can get some fancy stitches. I'm going to go up to 81 and I want stitch 85. So I'm just going to go 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. And I'm going to just simply stitch. Great lighting. Lighting is here. Lighting is here. There's no shadow in front of my needle. I like that. A lot of times when you grab a machine, um, there's shadow in front of the needle, which can be a little bit of a hindering when you want to sew. And then here is my stitch that I chose, which is really, really easy and uh, breezy. Isn't that awesome? Okay. So, guys, if you have any questions at all, remember, you can call us at 757-588-3300. Um, if we're shut down and the live is gone and you've watched the video, you can put a little question in chat if you want to. I will answer you tomorrow. 
Um, but just to give you an overview of the machine itself, you can see it's a very large machine. It does have a built-in handle right here. It does come with a cover. This is your tensions. So your tension is adjustable. So when you're free motion or if you're just doing basic stitching, you keep it on the basic four. This is simply um, the foot is up. The, you can hit this button when the button is green. And if the foot, is, foot control is uncontrolled, um, you unplug, you can sew with it without that. This is your reverse. This is your lock stitch, needle down and needle up, your speed, um, scissor, and your speed control. Very simple. This is very simple. Nothing like a lot to look at. You can, it's just simply direct. There's your stitch. There's your groups of stitches. Very simple and easy. When you go back over here on this side, it does give you pressure adjustment for your pressure for free motion. It is very, very large. It's 12 inches. And as you can see, I'm just walking around the machine so you can see how easy and clean it is. All right? And then don't forget that you, you if you came in late, that embroidery and the hoop is amazing. So you can quilt. And what a nice combination. Get one of those great machines with a 12-inch throat. And then get a cool embroidery machine to do your edge-to-edge -edge quilting uniformed. All right. So, guys, until then, come back and see me on Thursday. And I'll show you some more stuff over here on these fabulous embroidery machines, edge-to-edge, -edge, with built-in designs. Thank you. Have a great day. See you soon.